Alright, so I've put together a video for how to paint the Intercessor Space Walls it's step by step. Now it's more of a, a basic sort of highlight, um, it's not going too high up, um, just stage one on most items. So, put a base coat of Dawnstone and then I'm um, used rust grey with two thin coats just try and um, not to make it too blue because using the fang can quite make makes it quite a deeper blue so and then this is what it will look like finished second coat so I kept the um, gun arm separate just to have easier access and then went and used Norn Oil in all of the recesses um, so if you just make sure you've got plenty on your brush and then just pull it around into the gaps that you need and it should flow off the brush reasonably easy and it saves it going over the whole lot and then having to tidy up after um, while I was recording this I did have some problems with uh, transferring the video across and um, also keeping the recording in picture. I'm not really used to painting like that yet, so some of the quality wasn't quite what I wanted. But it, it gives you an idea of, of how to do it. So once you've got your recess shade done and it's dry, um, going over with Fenrisian Grey, um, watered down touch, just so it flows on a bit easier. And you can use the tip of the brush um, if it flows off nice and the edge of the brush if you've got a hard edge to work off of. So just gradually work your way around. It, it is quite a long process but it is worth it. Um, and for most of the detail I was using a, a 3 brush. The next colour we're looking at is Lead Belcher and that's for any items, parts that you want to have um, silver and um, some people have the tubes of behind the knees silver, some, it's all down to personal choice, um, take it as far as you, you want to. I prefer to have the ribbing um, around the joints as uh, a black black I don't even highlight it to try and give that effect that it is such a dark black rubber that it absorbs light as opposed to reflect it but that's just my personal choice
Next color we're looking at is Mephiston Red. So you use that on any lenses, buttons, and on the scope itself. The arm pad, I've done it with stone red because I've done the other two incisors in with stone red. I'm not sure how the Space Wars Primaris is marked up yet, but uh, I've just gone off of the standard artwork for the time being. And with the purity seal, I've done the wax part in red, uh, with stone red, but you could use corn red or purple, depending on what sort of look you prefer. Next we're going to paint the chest and weapon casing with Retributor armour. And I found when doing wings like what the artwork has on the chest, I don't think it's in a colour because it's not got the double heads on it. Um, I do it from both above and then below just to try and get a good coverage um, for any parts that may not have been sort of captured when I first went over it. Quite easy to miss just the tips of the um, wings. Okay, for the leather, all the pouches that's on him, I've done it in dry bark. Two thin coats, again with, as with other paints, um, just to get a good coverage on it, because it can go on quite thick if it's straight from the bottom.
So after the first coat is dry, I'm just going over with another coat. Just try and get some of the mixed colour on there. And next, uh, depending on which great company you're going for, um, depending on the shoulder pads in Avalanche Sunset, it will take a few coats of this. And the coverage for this wasn't too good for me. I'm struggling to do it. Okay, at this point we actually missed out a few colours. Um, I'm just putting on Nor Nor there in the video. Um, just going over the pouches completely in Nor Oil. And then um, the same for the metal work. Also use Nor Oil on the eye lenses and around the shoulder pad, the red shoulder pad. I'm going over the uh, creases in the holsters there um, just to give the um, pouches a bit of a shadow around whereabouts they open. Um, and this, this is a section where I've lost a bit of uh, video. So on the gold, I went over with Seraphim Sepia, and that was a complete, um, complete wash, and then. Um, once that's dried, um, it's, it's ready for highlighting. But just be sure that when you use um, the shade on it, and a lot of the highlight colours as well, if you paint um, with your brush going up the model, um, so you can either hold it upside down or just paint up, it will help the wash um, fall into the recesses of the wings and it will help shade it better and then again for highlighting I also did the eyes which is a shame that it didn't get um, didn't get shown in the video um, but after Norn Oil in the recess of the eye lenses I used Wild Rider Red and Fire Dragon Bright now if you want to go a bit further with that then you can use um, a touch of Uriel Yellow um, or Flash Fits Yellow um, and then a dot of white in the opposite corner. I've not gone that far on this because I've, I've just made it um, just more of a, a basic sort of level of painting. Um, so I've used 
sandry just on the purity seal and then i'm going over with um, bane babe brown to highlight the leather Okay, now using a Graxler shade um, completely over the purity seal but then just having it to drop into the recesses um, before doing a recess recess glaze uh, wash on the shoulder pad it wasn't really coming off the brush very well so I will be going back and touching that up so it, it blends in a bit better came out quite grainy. So using Auric Armor Gold on the um, chest and on the weapon casing. Just gently picking out the tips of the wings. Again, if you if you want to take this a bit further, um, you could use the braid gold or silver, just to give it that uh, touch more of a highlight. And then using dark reaper on the weapon casing itself. If you wanted to take the armor any higher on highlights, you could use author and grey. Um, weapon casing you could use for Amusian Blue. Just for it being off camera, there. It's, I'm not used to doing it in front of a, a camera. It's difficult to stay in the, the frame. Apologies for the focus as well. Again, it's holding to the right spot to be able to paint that sort of detail and also keep it in focus for the cameras. Um, something I need to get used to. At this point, with the chest um, finished and the weapon casing finished, I've glued the um, gun arm onto the rest of the model. Just be careful when you do that not to use too much glue. Um, that it splurges out and then it can end up uh, taking away some of the paint that you've you've finished also if you do use a paper clip like I did in the end of the barrel um, you'll need to uh, clean off the end of the barrel and then paint it lead belcher so using a highlight of rune fang steel there on the metal work and if you want to take that uh, any higher you can use Stormhost Silver. Okay now using Pied Witch Flesh on the Purity Seal. Uh, for Purity Seals I tend to work from the edges in so um, while the brush still has the most amount of paint it catches the edges and then as you work your way in and the brush gets drier um, it's not quite a dry brush but it gets that sort of effect on the period seal here I'm just making some touch it touch ups um, where I sit with the brush while doing the pouches and also putting a bit of gnawing oil in a greave that I missed 
in every step. I'm also just putting a bit of Norn Oil on the weapon casing um, just to give it a bit of a darker finish. It's black as it was before but it's, um, it's nice just to give it a little coat. Now using black ink on the Purity Seal. Um, it's quite an old uh, pot as you can see. Uh, it's the only hex pot that's ever actually stayed wet. Um, but I am looking for a brown ink uh, to use instead because black is obviously it shows no wear and tear whereas a dark brown would. Okay, so this is the finished model. Um, as I say, there are a few touch-ups which uh, needs, especially on the yellow shoulder pad. Um, but it's at a basic level. And then this is the one that was on the video from before. So it's it's close to what that was. Um, but I suppose the main difference is that the uh, one that I'm showing you now, I had done um, in my usual painting spot. And then the one you've seen in the rest of the video was done uh, at the camera so it, it can impact how you can paint the models that way. Um, I think they're uh, reasonable, um, there is more highlighting that could be done, um, just take it as far as you're comfortable with. Okay, thanks for viewing and I'll see you next time.